For problem number 11, we're given that a spring has a natural length of 20 centimeters. And since we're going to be working with metric, um, we have to convert it to meters. So this natural length here is 0 0.2 meters. So now we want to compare the work W1 that is done in stretching it from 20 centimeters, so its natural length, to 30 centimeters. Um, so the first work that we're doing is we're stretching it an additional 10 centimeters, which be an additional 0 0.1 meters. Um, and then we want to compare this work here done to stretch from the length in blue to the length in yellow and compare it to W2, which, stre which stretches it from the length in yellow to the length in green. So from 30 to 40 centimeters, which is an additional 10 centimeters, so an, an additional 0 0.1 meters. Um, so before we can do this, we just have to remember that um, work is going to be the integral of um, our force function, because our force takes an input of x, dx, from a to b, and our force function is given by kx, where k is the constant for the spring, and x is the amount of distance that you have to stretch it towards. And the reason that we use the integral is because work, the definition of work is force times distance. So to stretch a spring, you do have to, to do work because you have to apply a force and stretch it a certain amount of distance. However, because this force is variable, and we can see that it's variable because it takes x as an input. So it means that it's constantly changing, and therefore we have to use calculus to sum it up. So once we have this, let's ca calculate W1. So W1 is going to be the integral that stretches it from 20 centimeters, but 20 centimeters is its resting place. So it's gonna start from zero stretched out to 30 centimeters. And remember that 30 centimeters, we're stretching it out 10 centimeters beyond its natural point. So to 0 0.1 meters, and that would be here the length in yellow. And maybe I'm gonna color code this. So that's W1. And W1 is just f of x dx, and f of x is kx, so that would just be kx dx. And so if we integrate this, we have that W1 is going to be, um, k is just a constant, so that stays where it is. The integral of x, of x is x squared divided by 2, going from 0 to 0 0.1. So if we calculate this, that's going to be k times um, 0 0.1 squared divided by 2, and then minus the lower boundary, which is 0, so that doesn't count. Um, and so if we plug this into our calculator, if we do 0 0.1 squared divided by 2, we're going to get that this is actually going to be, um, I believe it's 1 over 200 times k. So this is the value here for W1. And now let's calculate W2. I'm going to color code this. So W2 is going to be the integral of, and W2 begins at 30 centimeters. So it begins at um, where this yellow length finishes, 30 centimeters, and goes to 40 centimeters. So we go 10 meters, um, sorry, 0.1 meter beyond. So we're starting at the point... We're starting at the point 0 0.1 because we start at 30 and 30 is 0 0.1 meters beyond the natural resting point, which is 0.2. And then we go all the way to 0 0.2 beyond, which would be 40 centimeters. So um, once more, this integral is just kx dx. And then if we integrate this, well, k goes outside. Uh, the integral of x is just still x squared over 2. But now we're evaluating this from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. So what we're doing here is we're doing, um, so that's going to be k over 2 times, I'm just put this to uh, one half outside, and then times the upper boundary, so 0.2 squared, so 0 0.2 squared, minus the lower boundary, so minus 0 0.1 squared. And if we calculate this, the total result, so 0.2 squared minus 0.2 1 squared, all of that divided by 2, and that's going to give us 3k over 100. So um, let me highlight that in green and maybe zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah, so we can see that w1 is um, 1k over 200, and w2 is 3k over 200. So what we can say here, um, so since w, so let me rewrite that. So since w1 is k over 200 and w2 is 
3k over 200, what we can affirm here is that W2 is exactly three times as large as W1. So W2 is going to be three times as much as W1. And that here is our final answer for problem number 11.